on. Good day to everyone. My name is Surya Selvam from SJKT Simpang Lima, Klan, Malaysia. I am privileged to give my speech in conjunction with World Children's Day with a special theme, Reimagine a Better World Given by the United Nations for this year. Honestly, I'm sure for the past two years, it's been a roller coaster ride for all of us. So much of uncertainties, restriction, losses, and demise. Yes, COVID-19 has taken the, away the joy and happiness of a child like me. I miss studying in school with all my friends, playing freely in the park, going for vacations, and even visiting my grandparents in their home is restricted. COVID-19 has brought an impactful challenges in every aspect of human life, such as loss of income, loss of loved ones, loss of education, and many more damages to mankind. Remember when we, when the very first time when we heard a deadly virus in Wuhan is killing thousands of China's population. I wish that I could just wipe out the virus. I know it's just a daydream, but the reality we have to live with COVID-19 for some years to come and the pandemic has affected our daily lives that one can't imagine the consequences towards mankind. How can we reimagine a better world, especially for my generation? For the past two years, many children from all over the world is facing limitations in learning process in addition of poverty also has taken a toll in education accessibility due to lack of necessary equipment, such as laptop and internet access to remote areas. Do you know that one third of Malaysian populations do not own any devices? Besides that, malnutrition among us underprivileged children due to loss of income by their parents deprives them a poor intake of good meals, which negatively affecting children's growth. Well, some children are forced to be a child labor with the low wages and early child marriages is occurring in our society too. Ironically, the situation is getting worsening. Among children with disabilities, the migrating refugees and even trafficked the children. Psychologically, all children is facing some kind of distress in the new norm of online learning, which causing boredom, lack of personal space, and cyberbullying due to increased screen time that might adverse effect towards a child's growth. On top of that, children are not allowed to go outside to play in the garden and even meet their friends at their homes. In the long run, a child's mental health has a negative if impact. If the pandemic continues to persist, it is a high time for all of us to play our role as a responsible citizen during the pandemic. Take charge in complying the given SOPs. Stay at home. Get vaccinated in order to curb the spread of the disease. If we don't comply with the control order, our generation will be a disaster forever. Rethink, recover, and reimagine a wise action to be taken before it is too late. Thank you. Signing off, Surya Selva.